Jumbo Rafikis. That means hello, friends. I'm up. And I'm Adam. Boy, oh boy, Adam. We sure are a long way from the farm. Yeah, we're on a safari. Woo! Hey, Adam, you want to see an awesome trick? I'd love to. Okay, okay. Love a good trick. Okay. You just take these bananas. Have bananas in your pockets all the time? Yeah, just yeah. In case you, you never know when you're going to need something? bananas. Got it. And then we're going to stack them. Is this, this, is a, like this was this. the amazing trick? Man. Not so. That's amazing. That is amazing. But do you want to know something even more amazing than that? What could be more amazing than those mad skills? The Bible! <laughs> of course. So, on our safari, we're going to be learning all kinds of great things about God's Word. The Bible! Did you know that the Bible is the number one selling book of all time, worldwide? Seriously, it's number one. Sadly, some people just think the Bible is some boring book collecting dust on the shelf. <gasps> what? That's cray cray. I know, right? The Bible is the most amazing book ever written. The Bible is full of epic stories about how great God is and how much he loves us. And the Bible teaches us the right way to live. Okay, so the Bible is the most amazing book ever written. But you may have some questions like, Why should we read it? What's it about? Well, during our time out here on the safari, we're going to open our eyes to see new and amazing things in and about the Bible that we've never seen before. For instance, did you know that the Bible is actually a collection of 66 books written by over 40 authors? And that it actually has two main sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Today we're going to focus on why the Bible is the most amazing book ever written. I bet there are some crazy stories that you've never heard before. Like this awesome story. One day, Moses was walking down the road and saw a bush that was on fire. But even though the bush was on fire, it wasn't being burnt up. <laughs> when he got close, Moses realized that God was speaking to him through the bush. This story shows us that God will go to great lengths to get our attention and talk to us. He wants our eyes to be open so we can see who he is and what he wants us to do. Another amazing story in the Bible is when God told Ezekiel to preach to a valley full of dry bones. As Ezekiel was preaching, the bones started coming together and they formed skin, veins, and muscles. And God turned the dry bones into a full army ready to fight. Sup, man? Awesome! This story shows us that God can do anything. And He wants us to trust Him no matter what He tells us to do, even if it's something crazy like preach to dry bones. I bet I can top that. Have you heard the story of when Jesus told Peter to go to the lake and open the mouth of the first fish he caught? Yeah, that was crazy. Inside the fish's mouth was enough money to pay for Jesus and Peter's taxes. Oh look, my allowance! You know, in this story, we see that God is our provider, and He will give us exactly what we need when we need it. Man, the Bible is the most amazing book. What's really cool is that the Bible tells us all about who God really is. And how He wants us to live. All right, guys, it's time for us to go check out some wildlife. Kwaheri! That means goodbye. Look! Over there! I think Where? I see something. Where? No way. Maybe it's over here. All right. 